Man, it is definitely beautiful here when it snows. I'm sure it's beautiful here even when it doesn't snow, but these mountains and everything, this is awesome. Getting into the fog up here. All right, so I drove down about uh, maybe three or 4,000 feet in elevation, and I'm down in the, in the valley now, the Yosemite Valley, looking up at this mountainside. This is 3,000 feet. This is El Capitan. And if you look very closely, you can actually see people climbing that, which is incredible. Look at those people. <laughs> I would love to do something like that. I just don't think I have the guts. This is beautiful, Bridal Veil Falls. All right, so I'm determined to get close to this thing, but I gotta hop over all these rocks and across all this water. Crossing this soggy log that, this piece of tree that's been here for a while, I guess. But so far, so good. And look at this beautiful rainbow right here. It just, the sun just came out just now. It has this incredible rainbow. I'd like to take a picture of that. So I'm not gonna go all the way down there because there's so much mist that comes off of this that, uh, and it's freezing outside. So I don't wanna get any wetter than I am getting right now. But this is an amazing waterfall. Look, look at all the, it comes down in such a soft, calm way. Look at that. And it just hits little shelves, little rock shelves as it goes all the way down. As usual for me, a simple stop turns into a big adventure. I had to climb up here, but now I've done it and now I know what it's like, so it's pretty cool. But now I gotta climb back down, so. <laughs> So if this hotel looks sort of familiar to you, you may have seen it sort of in a movie. I'm inside what is called the, or what used to be called the Awani Hotel in Yosemite. It's been renamed now, it's called the Majestic or something like that, but the interior of this hotel was used as a, um, as a model for the hotel in the movie The Shining. So it looks, it looks pretty close. So I am, I am no longer in Yosemite. Uh, I kind of left early there because uh, it was snowing up in the mountains and it was pouring rain down in the valley and it was freezing cold and I just, it wasn't my scene. So I'll be back there at some point. I want to spend a few days there, maybe camp there and do some great hikes. But uh, I drove a couple hours south and now I'm in the incredible Sequoia National Park in the Kings Canyon area. It's kind of like two parks that were, are together. So what you're looking at is gigantic stumps that have been here since the late 1800s, just slowly rotting away, sitting in this forest. All right, walking up onto the Mark Twain tree. Look at this. Oh my gosh, this thing is so giant. So the amazing story behind this tree here is that this one was selected to be uh, 
cut and have a slab sent to the uh, Museum of Natural History in New York City, which I've been to, but I don't remember this. So next time I'm back there, back east, I'm definitely going to go to the museum and see this slab that they cut from this very tree. You can actually climb inside this one. And interestingly enough, look at this. This is insane. You can actually climb inside this one. It looks like a cathedral. As you come through here, there's a uh, an old cut in the wood. Look at this. From a long time ago. Incredible. Have you ever been inside a giant sequoia tree? Me neither. Man, this is cool. This is obviously a tree that was cut down a hundred years ago and it's sitting here rotting away, but it's kind of cool. You can actually walk right in between it. it kind of sounds hollow. It's crazy to think that this tree has been here for over a hundred years, just laying here after it was cut down. It is insane and incredibly huge. This one has a giant hole in it and you can actually walk right inside of it, right out the other side. Look at that. <laughs> So this is the General Sherman tree. This is the largest tree in the world. Check this out. This tree is 36 and a half feet across, 108 feet in circumference. That is huge. Now look at the size of this tree compared to the people to the right. Look how big that is. It's pretty funny to see all these giant branches. I mean, they're just, they look like they're branches, like in any normal tree sheds branches, but some of them are almost the size of a regular tree. And they've all fallen from way, way up there. It's really hard to show the size of this tree and the, this opening. It's got to be 50 feet tall. The, the entire opening of this. So I'm going to get inside to give you a little bit of scale to show you. Now you can see how big this is. I can't even show it all on the camera. It's so big. Man, this is incredible. Look at that wood. Man, that is cool. I gotta tell you, I've been to a lot of really interesting and amazing places, and uh, this is definitely right up there. This is one of my favorite places. The, the sequoias are, they're incredible. They're so gigantic at the bottom. I mean, any of those giant trees, amazing to see. So make sure you guys follow me along on my journey. I'm traveling all over the country, checking out amazing places like here, and I'll see you on my next adventure.